I heard a good deal about the notorious train robbers and murderers, the James Boys, and had a long talk with Frank James, who was the brains of the gang, as his unlamented brother Jesse was its authority. He looked very little like the typical desperado and was very sarcastic about the then fashionable habit of attributing to his gang most of the crimes in the United States. I met a gambler-looking fellow. He was well-dressed and began to quiz me in an impudent way. Hey, partner, he chuckled. That blunderbuss of yours don't look like to shoot nothing. What you take for it? Oh, I answered carelessly. I'll trade even for your mouth. That ought to kill it a mile, and the rifle's only good for 5,000 yards. Ah, sort of smart today, ain't you? Tell you what I do. I put this hat inside of 50 yards and bet you a dollar you can't hit it from where you stand. And by this time, I was getting warm enough to pick up at his own game. Done, I said. Put up your hat. I saw from a distance the famous Bassick Mine. Years ago, a poor fellow sank a big shaft there and left his last nickel at the bottom. He never got a cent out and drifted off never to return. A, a penniless fellow strolled into the deserted mine, idly dug his pick in the wall, and pried out a yellow nugget half as big as his fist. That afternoon, he refused $100,000 for his claim, and before long, the mine was stocked up at two million and a quarter. At San Mateo, I formed my first acquaintance with those astounding fanatics, the Penitentes. These were formerly scattered all through New Mexico. Their only appearance as a religious brotherhood is during the 40 days of Lent, but then they do penance for the sins of the whole year. And on Good Friday, they culminate with the actual crucifixion of one of their number. My strength was gone. I knew that to stop meant sure death. With unseeing eyes and ears ringing with strange sounds, I still struggled on, making new footprints less fast than the drifting storm covered the last one. And then I stopped in a burrow and fell backwards and could not rise again. And there we lay, done for and lost, the trackless snows of the Sandia.